What is up everybody? Welcome to another video on Nutshell Games Live. Okay, I thought there'd be a menu for this game, but it's starting immediately. But uh, this is One Piece Odyssey. This is just the demo, not the actual game. Um, I've been interesting in, uh, interested in this game, so I just want to try out the demo to see if it's good. So this is what this video is for. Not sure how long I'll play it for, but we'll see. So yeah, I just turned on the game and it immediately went into this intro sequence, so we'll see. It's not directly connected to the actual One Piece story, so it is like a side story type beat if you haven't heard of this game before. But it is before Wano, because this isn't the full crew from the manga. Graphics-wise, I love how this game looks. I remember like when they revealed it, I'm like, this looks perfect. Like, this is how a 3D One Piece game should look like. This looks fantastic so far. I think you can't really get better than this. And uh, I'm one of the rare people who actually prefers turn-based games over real-time. And since this one went turn-based, a lot of people don't like that. I prefer it, so can't wait to see how that is. I've seen little clips here and there when they post on Twitter. So I want to see how, how it actually feels to play the game. And I, I've, I have no idea how long the demo is or anything, so we'll see We'll see how long it goes. I don't think I'll play the entire demo unless it's very short, but I'll be playing until I'm either bored or, or you know, I get to the end. Okay, so we're right on this island. I know, like, the rough plot of this game. I think, like, everyone loses their abilities and you just gotta kind of go get your ability slowly through flashbacks and stuff and you pretty much replay arcs of the game, I mean, arcs of the actual manga through this game to kind of get your abilities back. One Piece Odyssey. Okay, so it kind of came before the menu, the intro sequence. Cool, cool. I wish this was on PC, the demo, because if it was, they might have... Actually, I don't know, I would... Uh, you will not be able to save, uh, save or load the game manually. I mean, I feel like every demo should have a way to transfer your progress to the full game. I don't think this demo does, which sucks. But yeah, that's why I was kind of hesitant to even play it. But since I can make a natural games live video out of it, I'm like, why not? Let's just, let's just play it. But usually demos that don't do that and are just playing a section of the game anyways. Just, why, why do you even do that? Like, come on, please. I'll just transfer the, the, the save file. You're just literally wasting my time if you can't do that. Which in this case it is, but it is what it is. At least we got a demo. A story of bonds to build memories. Yeah, just for the people who do know One Piece, this is... Uh, this is taking place before Wano, so Jinbei is not going to be as part of the crew. And they're all wearing their kind of like generic time skip outfits. All the five elders down. From what I know, this game is getting good reviews, so like... I'm assuming it's going to be good. But I don't think I've actually seen like traversing gameplay of this. I've seen like combat and like how that looks, but I don't know like is it open world or like how's, how's the actual like, you know, minute to minute gameplay. Who are they talking about? It'd be cool if they made a new, um, what are they, what are they called? Uh, oh no, I'm blanking on the name. The freaking big kahunas of the marine, bro. What are they called? Like, Kizaru and shit. Uh, whatever, the strong boys of the marines. It'd be cool if they made, like, an original one for this game. Or just send in the real ones, I don't know. Because they do have original characters in this, like, on the island. Yeah, our ship is wrecked, oh my god. How are they gonna, like, destroy Sunny in the side game, bro? <laughs> Oh my lord. Oh man, Luffy's dead rip. That looks nice. Did they have the scratches on top? I think I saw it. I'm not 100% sure if they do. That's, that's dope. It's just, that's a dope detail. That's a nice looking model. That straw hat looks like straw, bro. Yo, let's get into some game put eh, fam. Come on, fam. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, chop rock glass. But yeah, like I said, the freaking art style of this game is like perfect. Look at the fuzz of his shorts, bro. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what the game plays. Is it like a party based system? Do you only get to, like, you know, take three characters with you, etc., etc.? 
It'd be dope if you had your entire crew, but I doubt it. Like, where the hell are Nami and Shiro right now? They were on the boat, maybe they got separated. I don't know if they do, but I hopefully they have different outfits you can put on in the game, like skins or cosmetics. So I feel like a huge part of One Piece is like all the characters are uh, constantly changing the outfits, which makes it feel like, you know, different from like any other manga or anime, which usually have like the same clothes. So like, hopefully you can wear either some of his other canon outfits or some like other original outfits. But yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of Luffy's like time skip. I mean, it's good, but like, you know, I like some of his other outfits better. Oh, those are lightning bolts, bro? What the hell? Yo, Frankie gonna get that fixed like in three seconds, huh? Oh yeah, so they did get separated. Nami... And... Brook? And Zoro, yeah. So I feel like it's gonna be like some async gameplay to try to get the groups to meet up. Actually, this is very reminiscent of how the manga actually is. The party is like, or the crew is like barely together these days. Until recently, yeah, they're always like separated, so yeah, makes sense. Oh, we got it. We got some gameplay. Mysterious Island. I've seen some of the creature designs, I've been releasing them on Twitter and shit, like sketches and models. They look really nice. Like, I think they're all, or most of them are designed by Oda, so like, they, they fit right into One Piece World. But yeah, so far visually this looks nice. Love the Japanese voices, the ones I prefer for One Piece. Okay, let's go, let's see how this is. Search for the crew. Don't mind if I do. Also, like, the texture they have, like, on stuff, like, if you look at the sand right under Luffy's feet, they have, like, this crisscross hatching texture. They have that, like, on a lot of things. Can I move, bro? Oh, I see. Uh, the episode objectives are displayed at the top of the screen. They can also be viewed in the main menu. Check these places if you're unsure of how to proceed. Yeah. Missions that progress to episode have a red icon. Objectives, etc. have a red dot. An exclamation mark icon. Uh, and information has a red speech bubble icon. Okay. Kicks with the map icon give adventure hints. Those are the red icons that give hints to the main episodes. So talk to them whenever you see them. Probably won't do it in this, but usually the way I play games is like do every single side thing possible first, talk to every single person, then continue with the story. Obviously, I won't do it here because the demo, way, you know. I'll actually jump. How the hell is a square? Bro, how the hell? Nope. Circle. What the heck is this? Is a weird design on it? Is there something inside? I know these cubes are important. Like, I know, like, the collector edition of this game has, like, a statue of Luffy with these cube things. Yes, okay, man can jump. Can I run? Oh, R2. Okay. There's a weird design carved into that submerged rock. So far, I really like that they let you just examine random stuff like this. I feel like One Piece is all about adventure, so, like, as much as possible, let me, like, examine random shit around the world to kind of explore. Oh yeah, obviously I can't go in the water with them. Uh, that'd be a nice detail if you can go into the water with other characters but not Luffy. I I think this is true. Like, I, I don't know if it was like a fake picture or not, but like, I think in this game, when you use Zoro, you just don't have access to your minimap. Because he doesn't have a sense of direction. That's that's true, it's funny as well. What's this? The clam would be really good girl assault, of course. So far, this is really nice. Damn. I wish the running speed is a bit faster. Hopefully it's faster like on the mainland. Cause right now this is like walking speed in other games, bro. And I'm running right now. This is walking. Okay. Doesn't look like I can eat any of it, bro. Calm down, Luffy. Like, I like calm yourself. Up. Get your appetite under control. Hang on, Sunny. I promise to fix you. We got this. Okay. Examine all this. Talk to. Oh, check the barrel out. It'd be funny if that gooey guy was in the barrel. I forgot his name. The med the mud man. What is a Furanki? Oh shit, party member, let's go, bro. Hell yeah. They're gonna have an animation of him doing some shit. No, okay. Uh, let's go. More of these cubes. What is a square rock? A box? It doesn't matter. You got this, it's not here either, where did my hat go? Oh yeah, true, I forgot he doesn't have his hat. 
Hold up. The reflection on the sand is really nice. You guys see that shit? The dampness. Yeah, they killed it with this game, bro. Yeah, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah, this is on the PS5. Okay, sound is right there. My hat isn't in the water, is it? I like the uh, motion changes in the picture. You can see with Luffy. I love when games do that. Alright. Check this out. Sanji, join my party real quick, bro. Hell yeah. If it's three max, then it's probably these three. If not, Robin and Chopper will probably join. Well, she does have a red. We'll see. Sanji, I'm starving. Once you find Nami, I'll make a nice saute out of that big thing. Hell yeah, I found something talking about. Also love that the minimap has this light thing that shows which uh, direction I'm facing. Every RPG should have that, it's weird when it doesn't. That lumpy boulder is that lightning flashing on it. Yeah, what the hell's going on, bro? There's some good things. I like that the game starts off right off the bat with mystery. I'm assuming the actual game will start like this too, but like, just not knowing what's going on is cool. Let me just check the controls real quick. Auto- oh, there's auto run? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I see. Uh, action, jump. Oh, observation hockey? Oh, ho, ho, that's proper. I love that they made that into a mechanic. That makes sense. Uh, change lead member. Word? I can't do it now. Map. Okay. A lot of the wanted posters in the back. Uh, crew. Love the art style too. Gives me like persona vibes. Episode setting. Cool, cool. Uh, menu aiming mode. I see. Oh, the, the left trigger, the L2 I'm holding on the PS5 controller is like vibrating while I'm doing this. That, that's a weird feeling, but that's cool. Oh, Gum Gum Rocket? Can I straight up? I gotta do... Circle or R2 or both? Well, it's not working anyways. Maybe I can just do it right now. Uh, and run. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, what's he got? Actually, let me just... Okay, never mind. I don't like this auto shit. Let me press him to continue. Since when can you do that? I know he's our pet, but come on, fam. I don't think he's ever done that before. Okay, there's no way she accidentally got sent to that cave. She went in there herself then. <laughs> Where's Robin, bro? The frick? Did she automatically join her or did I just screw up? Oh, okay, she's automatically in. Okay, so it's a four-party system. Where the hell? I didn't even know where Usopp was, bro. Okay, so I, I guess I advanced by accident. I, I could have swore they said the icons were opposite, that the dots were like unimportant, whatever. Okay, we're all level 40, so maybe this isn't the start of the game, or they just scaled us up for the demo. Okay, before we go in there, can I explore more? Doesn't seem like it. Seems like they kind of blocked us off into this shore, so yeah, I might as well just go in right now. Into the cave. From the map, I can tell it's gonna go to a new area. The Grand Line, there's a giant continent that bisects several oceans, yep. Small nitpick I- this is a random, random thought, but small nitpick I have with the PS5 is that loading is so fast that I could never read tips anymore. It's kind of annoying. I wish, like, it didn't automatically go to the next part of the game, but, uh... But instead I would have to press X to continue, because, like, I can never read the tips now. Chuckle, I like it. So that's a save point, slash heal. Elaborate carving. It's so weird that this save point looks almost exactly like the ones that you, in another game I play. The Trails games. Uh, save points to record your progress uh, and restore your health. If everything gets knocked out, you'll start over from your last save point, so be sure to save off, man. That's kind of archaic, but alright. I really hope that's not true. And only for the demo. If I die, I should just restart from the battle. Oh, yeah, true. Okay, anything here? I really hope that's not true. That you always respond out of old save points. That's like a very archaic system. You better have auto saves and shit. King Kong Garden. King Kong better be here, fam. Looks quite nice. So we gotta find Nami, Zoro, and Brooke. Look at this big waist suit. Big atty. Big atty. Oh, I see King Kong right there, bro. Yeah. Ugly, yeah. Oh, I see. Yo, Luffy could just stretch and like launch himself there like in a second right now. Alright, let's go. I want to see how they play this out because, well, like I said before, I think the plot is that I'm not going to have all my powers, which is how they're going to balance me. Because in reality, Luffy can just fucking breathe and like kill that monkey. 
We can't go this way. It looks like we have to go around. Alright. Oh, is this uh, the L2 thing? R2 to use Gum Gum Rocket to travel to a distant area. You might even be able to progress to areas that appear to be dead ends with the help of Gum Gum Rocket. Take a look around and see if any grab. How do my party members come though, realistically? Oh, that's cool. Oh. A bit stiff feeling. They locked my camera a bit after landing too. That felt kind of weird. Okay, I guess they don't explain how your party members get through. It's okay. Okay, let's go. Movement feels a little stiff. Like, usually you'd feel like a bit of momentum of jumping, but here you can tell his is just like an animation. Like, he's not going forward at all. So movement is not the best from what I can tell so far, because they might have just put all the effort into combat. So we'll see. Hey, look, there's something at the base of that tree. Two things, actually. Yeah. Judging from the surroundings, it doesn't appear that they originated here. So these look like statue type beats or vases, I can't tell. A lot of ancient carvings. Mushroom, can I pick that up? I see. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. And that one? Can I? Nope, okay, no. Yeah, like they lock it. Like, uh, let me try to explain this. So my camera, I can move it right now. I cannot move it, I cannot move it, I cannot move it. Now I can move it again. So I lock it off for like a good bit for some reason. I should be able to move right away, but now, like, now I can move. Looks very weird. The main thing is laying on the ground. If you see something shiny, pick it up with circle. Barrels, jars, and box that glow can be broken. There are items inside to break when you see them. I was gonna say, like, there should be things I can pick up and break, but, uh, nice. We can. Okay. Yeah, the, the main nitpick so far of the game is animation wise. Like, it's all very, like, stiff and blocked off. Like, you gotta break it. It locked my movement for a bit. I gotta walk again. Lock my movement again. Like, it's not... Like, usually in games now, you could just, like, while running, pick shit up, break stuff. But, like, not in this game. It's very, like, overworld feeling. Instead of, like, I'm actually in the game. So, more archaic JRPG feeling. But, like, I play old JRPGs a lot, so it's fine with me. But, you know, just something to note. If you're interested in this game. It's an old relic with something strange about it. Oh, to Robin? Probably freaking figure this shit out. I saw the upper yard where it has some different characteristics. Upper yard, you mean that Sky Island? That's a relic of Sky Island doing here. It was a giant relic like that's on the sky and it belonged to the Great Blue Sea. I like how they're tying in arcs of One Piece. So if you've read or watched One Piece, you know what they're talking about. And if you didn't, you're probably a bit confused. But like, you know, that's kind of cool. That it does reward people who got into the series. It's kind of annoying when like some games, they just like allow it. So new players are completely fine. And like people who did, you know, uh, read or watch the series, they don't get anything out of it. But this one clearly does, you know, expect you to know some stuff. To get more out of it, which is always appreciated. I don't think games should fully always cater to new people, or it would just be like pretty generic for them. At that point, like why One Piece? Could just be a generic RPG. Okay, first taste the combat. Let's go. Okay, let's see how this. Okay. Uh, battles are held in separate areas of crew. Could you place in the same areas enemies or different ones? I remember seeing that and I was confused in clips of self combat. Like, my party members are like in different areas. Like, I didn't know how that worked, so we're gonna see now. Attack. Pick a homie. I'll pick C. He's in the middle. <laughs> One hit. Alright, cool. Uh, consume TP to use powerful skills. Some TP will be restored when attacking enemies, and when the battle begins, the TP you build up in the battle will carry over to the next battle. TP, okay. Yeah, I got like 100 something right now, right? The meter on an enemy icon indicates their action order. When all are lit, the enemy will go next. Hopefully it's turn-based and not like that fake turn action style that a lot of games do now. Like half real-time, half turn-based, which is annoying. It seems like it's actual turn-based. Uh, let's go for B. 84 TP. Can I use my skill? No, it's locked off right now. Tag, let's kill this guy right now. Bah! I like that all my party members are fighting, or at least four of them. Robin and Chopper are locked up, but four is more than I thought. That would be like three at max. Uh, can we just kill this man? That's all, bro, Frank. Come on, man. Frankie should be stronger than Chopper. Not Chopper. Uh, who's up? Oh, that thing's bigger than I thought. What the hell? Okay, finish the man off. 
Oh, okay, so for the, the first battle, they only allowed me to use my basic attacks. Okay, but you get berry and you get XP. Interesting that they call it money. Uh, let us advance. Let's see what's going on. Probably another Nami cuts in. Oh shit. Probably gonna teach us about ambushes. That's a lot of them, bro. That's not Tama, bro. Let me use a skill. Let me use a fucking Gatling or some shit. Yeah, that's what I wanted. AoE type beats. Oh, exactly what I want. <laughs> okay, come, come, Gatling. Yeah, bro. Let's hit all of them, bro. Let's go. Oh, that looks great. They made that look exactly how I thought. Oh my god, one hit everyone. Holy crap. I like that they actually made Luffy the strongest from them. Nice, nice. I like that. Good, they got that Usopp dumbassery too. This could just be the demo the way it's scaled up, but like, so far, it makes sense. It's nice. Energy apple. I still wish the running was faster. This seems very... Like right now it seems like us going to Naomi is just like me going to her for the sake of me going there. It doesn't seem like there's a functional reason to have all this. Look, a shipwreck. It means that what happened to us happened to the ship too. We don't have time for that. Let's go. Alright. That's pretty interesting though. Are there other people? Like stowed away on this island too? That got stuck. Cave and this. Wait, what's the right? Let's check this out. Can we go on? Oh shit, secret area, bro? Oh, the treasure chest, bro? Nah, bro, let us go. Come on. Yeah, F Nami for a second, man. She's good. Nah, man, Sanji, we're good. Trust me, bro. Let me get the triage chest. They better not play that every time you do that. That'd be, like, annoying. Yeah, let's see. Oh, they still let me go. Oh, no. Shit, all right. Damn it, all right. I guess we're coming here later. Okay, let's fight these penguins. Beat their... Oh, let us go, fam. Guys, the clap is all hell. Oh, it's not hostile? Say a word. They're big ass shit, bro. They eat man. Yeah, bro, they're huge. 100% eat you. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why does everyone get electrocuted in this? What's going on? Okay, <laughs> Usopp is out of the- Oh my god, he's in the fight. Oh, I see. He's paralyzed. Alright, that's cool. Kind of like story things happening in the battle. That's good continuity. Enemy group to liberate Usopp. I didn't read. Okay. Oh, liberate Usopp's area before Usopp is knocked out. Okay, so it's not like this uh, easy. Also, you can see at the left now, the different areas of battle. So how do you- about dramatic scenes? Dramatic scenes activate under specific conditions. During dramatic scenes, enemy attack or damage dealt to enemies might increase. Also, they have like story-based battles, if that makes sense. So we're playing through a scene. I get it. Okay. When there are no enemies in your area, you can attack an enemy in a different area to move to that area. It's kind of like a grid system, but they made it more like cinematic. So let, let's kill this guy first. Okay. Dry penguin. Ooh, so bro, that's all the constitution you got. Okay, so we got a... Can I use a Gatling? Oh, I got a lot of skills, bro. Pistol. Bazooka. Gatling. It's only AoE you want to have, Gatling. No, this AoE. What does a white mean? Swipes enemy with, like, enhanced gear too. Let's try that. It's not straight up go to gear 2 right now. Oh, I think the white means where I would end up, so I'm gonna... Never mind. Okay, I thought I would go back based on the picture. I, I gotta understand what the pictures mean. Jesus, yo, this man's gonna die, man. Can we heal him up? Bro, you're a medic. Do you have a... Like a healing skill? Oh, perfect. Heal... Usopp. Let's go. Yeah, I like that there's no distance basing. I can just heal anyone I want. At least for now. Jesus, man. 
Are you going to be paralyzed the entire battle? If it's a dramatic fight, they might do that. If it's like a real battle, I doubt it. Let's see what this man's got. You have any AoE? All right there. Party table kick course. Let's go. Oh, they should have jumped twice. I love the smearing they're doing on the 3D models to make it look like anime. That's pretty nice. Hell yeah, bro. Okay, so dramatic scenes are a cool idea. So have a battle kind of like very specific to this uh, story beat. That's nice. That's cool. I haven't seen an, 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 a JRPG or an RPG do that before. <laughs> yeah, they definitely got the actual like original manga type characters in this. Like how Usopp acts, how Robin acts is nice so far. But clearly they did the research. Uh, let's go. Looks like they won't attack us. Yeah, they will. Where, where, where the hell were they looking there? Oh, I see. Okay, I'm assuming Kong's, I mean, the boss. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually ended the demo there. Because I can see them doing that. So we'll see. If not, I'll probably end it there myself. Because, you know, it'll probably be like half an hour-ish or more by the time we get there. Do the damn thing, bro, man. Like, Usopp, stop being a little shit face for once, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, let's go, let's climb this shit up, you know what I'm saying? Let's climb up. I'll circle, go. Okay. Pot, break that shit, pop, pop. Get that shit. Did you pick it up automatically or did I do that? I don't even know. Uh, we got this, bro. Pick this shit up, bro. Maybe I can't pick up while running then. Oh, a family of sea lions. God damn. Little walruses. Alright. Carnivorous walruses. Yeah, that's huge, bro. Christ, look at that, man. Alright. Uh, let us get to Nami. Energy apple. Did I just pull that out of the ground? Oh, I thought I saw something. Okay, let's get to Nami. She, I think she was up here. Uh, more items here. We got a lizard. Can we grab him? Nah, this environment. Am I going the right way? Can I jump over this? Save this for later. Okay. So I wonder if like this... Um, this, rail this railroading they're doing is like the actual game or if it's just uh, the demo. Probably the demo or if it is in the game it's probably because this is like the very beginning then after it opens up. I like how the monkey looks it's designed. Very like angular. Luffy, there's Nami. Yeah, that's these ugly ass piece of shits, man. Freaking one hit them, bro. Let's go. Will my whole party fight for this? It seems like a lot of them. Oh, they're different colors now. And I think it's still the main four. Oh, no, Robin's here. Okay, so it's my entire party then. What the hell? That's cool. Okay, about type effectiveness. Let's go. <sighs> Please have this on the screen somewhere. <laughs> Whenever games have this, they have to have it on the screen. I'm not gonna memorize this. They each are, are more or less effective in different situations and affect the damage you deal. R, G, no. G, R, O. Why orange? Okay, G, R, O. That's order. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, the effect is displayed in the enemy's icon. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's what I like to see. You can check the effectiveness via the enemy icon on the left screen. Nice, nice. Swap your battle crew by pressing triangle. Swap to a crew member that is effective against enemy types. Okay. Only got one guy here. How much TP do I have? Does this say anywhere? Alright, they're 393. So that's cool. TP carries over, like, through battles? That's an interesting system, because, you know, usually it's meter-based. Oh no, every character has a different TP. How the hell does that work, then? So everyone gains their own individual TP, but it carries over. Is there like a max? I'm assuming there's a max in the meter, the yellow meter, where Sanji's character is there. Obviously, it fills up at some point. But like, these moves barely use TP. Like, it's barely making a dent. Well, some, I guess, use more. Okay, so I could do this. It's weak against this. 
Oh, okay, the fire attack. Okay, nice. Uh, let's go, bro. Usa should be able to like, just like normal attack and kill it. Yo, why are they all dogging Usa, man? They freaking chill. Okay, so we can use Robin. Oh no, I think it's still the four party member. They just switched out Frankie. I think that's what it is. Uh, skid heavy AoE, perfect. Let's do this. I'll break the necks. Jesus, she did 1300 to that man? And this man's paralyzed or unconscious, okay. Waste this turn though. I'm assuming there's two people here. I'm always gonna use skills if I can, man. Uh, we got this. Let's do this uh, AoE. The Gatling's kind of cheap too. So far, the combat's pretty good. It's pretty simple. Uh, again, they can add more mechanics uh, as the game progresses. I don't know about that, but like, it is pretty simple, but like, it works. Okay, let's kill this man. You get a lot of TP. You got 150 from them. And moves are like 20, 30. Some are 100, but like, they're pretty generous with that. I wonder if this is again skilled for the demo, if this is actually like this. Uh, I could probably just normal kill them with a normal attack. Yeah. Nice, nice. Ooh, that's a lot of XP, bro. Give me a second, I'm gonna go grab some water. Okay, I am back. Level 41, we have leveled up. Ooh, sub leveled up. I like the color. Like, the, the fact that everyone has a color. Looks nice. And the visual style of the menus and shit really look good in this game. Okay, I already leveled up, man. Goddamn. So I wonder why they changed out Robin to be our party. Is that like an automatic thing they just did? Or was it because she had an advantage? Gorilla just taking his time to freaking kill her. Ooh, cook. Oh shit. I'll show you the island. Oh, it's all she. Oh she. The hallway. Thank God it's Zoro and Zolo. <laughs> Good, good. Good, they got the dumbass expression too. <laughs> the fur looks funny in 3D. Jesus, alright. Yeah, they're nailing the character so far. Mechanics aside. Alright, let's. Yo, Zoro's in our party. Yo, let's do this thing, man. Let's do all this, man. I want you to bet Brooks gonna pop up right now. Del Kong is his name. Let's go, bro. Okay, Nami's here. Yo, nine for twenty-five percent or more HP before they're knocked out. Okay, soft things, bro. I right, can use items in inventory by selecting items. They have various effects not only recovering HP or TP. I'll never do the damn thing. Energy apple, 500 HP, 900 HP. How much can I see? How much he needs? Wait, what? Oh, I have to use a strong one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I really like that there's no distance. I can just like heal anyone whenever I want. A game I'm playing right now, Trolls of Zero, like you have to be near them, which makes sense for that game, but like, it feels nice coming back to a game where you can just heal anyone. Oh my god. Man, use freaking substitution jutsu. What the hell was it? Not substitution, fucking uh, the Shadow Clone technique. Uh, when it's your crew's turn to act, you can select who will act first with L1 or R1. Look at the enemy action order and judge which character should act first. What? Also, oh, Sanji or Luffy right now? Okay, nice. I want to do... Do I want to go for his homies or the main guy first? I feel like I should like AoE so everyone gets hit, so, but the side guys will die slowly. I don't see how strong the boss is too. How much HP do you have? Okay, good. It's one of them already died. Did I even did we even see the main guy's HP? I didn't see it. Yo, why can't they just do this, bro? What kind of move is this? Uh start with enemies with full meters. Select crews with effective types. Full meters? Use skills suited for either single or multiple targets. Okay. Oh, we got two of these. I want to AOE this B. Oh, what's it? What the hell? Mirage Temple. Create some Mirage from the heat difference due to cold air. Let Ally Vayner attack. Yeah, I know. Why does it show Chopper and Luffy, though? I think because they mean for your allies. 
Okay, oh, you have an AoE right there. I don't get, like, the two... Sur oh, it affects enemies not only in your sur your area, but other areas, too. What? No way. That Holy crap. Like, everyone? Or does it just, like, get to pick and I just didn't choose? Let me see this. Holy crap, it's literally everyone. That's clutch, not me. Holy shit. You got that shoe? You got that shit too, Robin? Let's see. No, I don't think so. I think Nami's like the only one right now. Uh, does she only have one person or anything? Uh, what's his health? Fucking, I freaking kill this man. Wow. I love her basic attack just whipping them to death. Okay, Del Kong took some decent damage. How strong is he though? I Luffy got it, bro. That didn't do shit to me. Okay, let's use a uh, single. What's my strongest single attack? Oh, it literally says how much damage it's gonna do. What the hell? So I like objectively know what's the best attack. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, might as well, bro. Burns and poison, let's go. Okay, that's interesting. So there's no like guesswork. It's just like the straight up tells you. Oh, well, I guess it didn't do that much, but like I guess put in, put in terms of potential, it tells you, which is nice. Konami. Let's see. Okay, weak to this. So is he in my circle now? Can I even do this? Also, I'd move there anyway. Okay. So he's weak to thunder. So she clearly is carrying and like so she you could have done this Nami when you were like scared, I'm just saying. Uh I'm just gonna keep using skills, bro. I got some TP right now. Your Nami has like no TP anymore though. Uh let's see, let's see. Let's do this, Jet Bazooka. Seeing gear two and this is pretty sick. He has like the perfect amount of health for me. Not too much, not too little. I like this. Uh weak to this, why not? They have this move? <laughs> what the frick? Oh, it paralyzes the man's? What the hell? They actually made that into a move? Uh, let us see. Let's just kill him off, bro. Bazooka does. Or should near kill him at least. Okay, very close. One more guy should just freaking basic attack him to death. Oh, no, I mean, no. Oh, <laughs> Good Sanji, perfect for this. Kicks that fa done. Man's dead. Passed away. This man faded away to death. Holy shit. Eviscerated. I like this end of battle dialogue because it's not generic. It's actually specific to like the story. That's, that's nice. Cause yeah, usually every game has just like generic stuff. It's very specific. We level up again. Nice. Let's go. Why was she sitting down? She like helped with the fight. <laughs> Battle speed function has been unlocked. Oh. I'll probably end it after this cutscene. Even personally for me, I think I've seen enough of this game to like, no, like I don't have to play through the entire demo. I'll probably pick this up one day if it's on sale. Usually I don't buy games which are like IP based. Except like Dragon Ball or something. But like, this seems pretty good. So I'll probably get it for like cheap one day. I'm not in a rush to buy any games right now because I have like a bunch of games that I could play right now. Yeah, I'm assuming throughout the game we're just going to have to get parts for Sony to fix her. I wonder if this is like heavy like um, East 8 vibes, like Lacrimosa of Dana. Where we're just stuck on an island, we're gonna have a main base. Side quests are about getting materials and food and stuff. I can, I can see that exactly for this. The, the fast movement was good. So far, yeah, it's really nice. Oh shit. I bet he's just acting dead. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> okay, so he's trapped somewhere, obviously. There's no way he's in the ocean, right? Because that's not how it works. What? He can still use his powers when he's at the bottom of the sea? Is that a thing he can do? I don't know if that's possible. I feel like the the ocean should have up his powers order. What? I thought fixing Sunny would be like endgame shit. 
Never mind, I guess it's not if we need that to fix Brook. Got this bench with my hat. Get that shit back. Oh, the scratches are on the hat. Holy shit. That's so subtle, but nice. Holy crap. They actually got the scratches on it. That's nice. So they paid really good attention to like small details like that where One Piece fans were like, oh, nice. That's cool. So I really like that they did that. They didn't like put do some generic shit. I think this is the end of the demo. Like it seems like it. If so, that's cool. It's like the perfect line. Oh, it literally restarted, yeah, so it's, it's, yeah, let me just skip this and go back to the menu. But yeah, that was the One Piece Odyssey demo. That was pretty fun. Uh, overall thoughts, I think it's pretty good, especially if you're a One Piece fan. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it here because it's restarting. But yeah, I think it was pretty good, especially if you're a One Piece fan. Um, Mechanics-wise, like, movement traversal-wise, is kind of stiff, but honestly, a lot of JRPGs are like that. Like, uh, slightly older JRPGs. Modern ones kind of fix that, but, you know, like, it, it's, it's not a deal breaker or anything. Just something to note if you are interested in getting this game. Um, yeah, so th those are my thoughts on the, uh, the demo. If you do want to get the demo, it's on PlayStation. Probably on other consoles, too. It's not on PC for some reason, but... Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this NGL video. Um, if you are wondering why I'm making a video on Nutshell Games and you haven't watched any of the previous ones, I uh, mean, Acorn are planning to do more of these types of videos where we just play a random game or any game that we're playing, playing and just post it up here. Not live streaming it, but like, it doesn't have edits, so it feels like a live stream VOD pretty much. Me and him don't have time to live stream at specific schedule, so we thought this would be best where we just record a game and put it up with like pretty much no editing for you guys to enjoy. So it's, it's, it's just imagine it's a stream VOD if you guys miss the streams. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Comment down below if there's any other specific games you want us to play on this channel. Uh, we're a lot more open to playing random games on the channel than natural games, because natural games you gotta kind of really worry about the performance. Here we could kind of try random stuff, and if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!